What is the blue metric? For many NLP tasks, we can use common metrics like accuracy or F1 score. But what do you do when you want to measure the quality of a text that's being translated from a model? In this video, we'll take a look at a widely used metric for machine translation called blue. The basic idea behind blue is to assign a single numerical score to a translation that tells us how good it is compared to one or more reference translations. In this example, we have a word in Spanish that has been translated into English by some model. If we compare the generated translation to some reference human translations, we can see that the model is actually pretty good, but has made a common error. The Spanish word tengo means have in English, and this one-to-one -one translation is not quite natural. So how can we measure the quality of a generated translation in some automatic way? The approach that Blue takes is to compare the n-grams of the generated translation to the n-grams of the references. Now, an n-gram is just a fancy way of saying a chunk of n words. So let's start with unigrams, which corresponds to the individual words in a sentence. In this example, you can see that four of the words in the generated translation are also found in one of the reference translations. And once we've found our matches, one way to assign a score to the translation is to compute the precision of the unigrams. This means we just count the number of matching words in the generated and reference translations and normalize the count by dividing by the number of words in the generation. In this example, we found four matching words and our generation has five words. Now, in general, precision ranges from zero to one and higher precision scores mean a better translation. But this isn't really the whole story because one problem with unigram precision is that translation models sometimes get stuck in repetitive patterns and just repeat the same word several times. If we just count the number of word matches, we can get really high precision scores, even though the translation is terrible from a human perspective. For example, if a model just generates the word six, we get a perfect unigram precision score. So to handle this, Blue uses a modified precision that clips the number of times to count a word based on the maximum number of times it appears in the reference translation. In this example, the word six only appears once in the reference. So we clip the numerator to one and the modified unigram precision now gives a much lower score as expected. Another problem with unigram precision is that it doesn't really take into account the order in which the words appear in the translations. For example, suppose we had Yoda translate a Spanish sentence, then we might get something completely backwards like years, 60, 30, have I. In this case, the modified unigram precision gives a high precision, which is not really what we want. So to deal with word ordering problems, Blue actually computes the precision for several different n-grams and then averages the result. For example, if we compare four grams, we can see that there are no matching chunks of four words in the translations, and so the four gram precision is zero. Now, to compute blue scores in the datasets library is really very simple. You just use the load metric function, provide your model's predictions with their references, and you're good to go. The output will contain several fields of interest. The precisions field contains all the individual precision scores for each n-gram. The blue score itself is then calculated by taking the geometric mean of the precision scores. And by default, the mean of all four n-gram precisions is reported, a metric that is sometimes called blue four. In this example, we can see that the blue score is zero because the four gram precision was zero. Now, the blue metric has some nice properties, but it is far from a perfect metric. The good properties are that it's easy to compute and it's widely used in research, so you can compare your model against others on common benchmarks. On the other hand, there are several big problems with Blue, including the fact it doesn't incorporate semantics and it struggles a lot on non-English languages. Another problem with Blue is that it assumes that the human translations have already been tokenized and this makes it hard to compare models that use different tokenizers. So as we've seen, measuring the quality of text is still a difficult and open problem in NLP research. For machine translation, the current recommendation is to use the Sacra Blue metric, which addresses the tokenization limitations of Blue. As you can see in this example, Computing the sacred blue score is almost identical to the blue one. The main difference is that we now pass a list of texts instead of a list of words to the translations, and sacred blue takes care of the tokenization under the hood.